Man, we know that frog fishing can be a blast, but wow, did I really learn and observe some things this week. Well, my friend David helped me film this. He did the fishing, I did the filming. I know he got the better end of the deal, but man, there was just some really interesting stuff that we ran across while frog fishing this week. We as humans tend to get stuck in ruts and routines, right? That applies to all parts of our life and definitely applies to our bass fishing. We'll grab the similar lures that we use often and then we'll retrieve them oftentimes the same type of way and with your typical hollow bodied frog i know for me personally that is a lot of times doing either a walk the frog type of a presentation or some pretty substantial twitches leave it sit twitch leave it sit well today i wanted to go over what is what i think is a common hollow body frog fishing mistake and that is not mixing up our retrieves often enough especially we're in a high percentage area you know we feel that there's probably some bass down there we're seeing some we just got that gut instinct that we're in a good spot right and we'll sometimes do that same retrieve. If we don't get a hit, eh, well, they're just not biting today and we'll move on or try something else. Well, if we take a look at real frogs, look at this one here. It is sitting, just sitting in open water. We can do that as well. We need to leave our hollow body frogs sit way more than we do. And there's a couple reasons why. One is it can look very, very natural, but not necessarily from our point of view from the boat or standing on the shoreline. There are natural movements in the water, whether those are waves or currents. And if you take a look at the frog sitting there without us moving it, just how lifelike it looks. And the other thing that happens when we leave that frog sit is those legs start to drift down. They just have a very natural movement to them that can just entice that bass that is looking at it. Say, man, yeah, that looks pretty good. It looks lifelike. And they go and then attack it. Well, if we're constantly working that frog pretty hard back to the boat, we don't get that opportunity. As a matter of fact, look here. So here we've got a bass literally looking at this frog. It's curious. They're very curious creatures. This fish is drawn to it. But as soon as there's a twitch, boom disappears, gone. Now there's some days when they're very aggressive and we have a hard twitch, hard retrieve to that frog. It works and it works great. And those are some really, really fun days. So first thing, let's leave it sit more than we actually do. The second thing is this frog is also very effective on a straight pull or a straight retrieve over the tops of, of vegetation, other high percentage areas. I know it feels completely unnatural, but once again, look at this frog, this real frog, and it's just swimming really slowly. Now compare that to a straight pull. See how similar they look? And then this frog will kick. Well, that could be a lot like a twitch that we go ahead and put on our hollow body frog. But that slow pull, that straight pull with that hollow body frog, as wrong as that can feel, imitates just a, a live frog just swimming nice and slow, hardly creating a ripple whatsoever. As a matter of fact, the strikes that we got today, every one of them was from the frog just sitting there or the frog on a straight pull. And we got some really cool slow motion footage of some uh, bass just pulling these lures down. Not one of them did that typical blow up on it. They came up underneath and just pulled it down. And we even got a couple underwater. It's, you can't even hardly see the frog here. It's way off in the distance. And then just all of a sudden, boom, they come up and slurp it down and take off. Now we may think when the bass are not just blowing up on these things and that you know typical drop a cement block on the top of your frog splash, right? When they aren't doing that, we oftentimes think, well, man, they're just not very aggressive today. But look at this, they're still choking it. They are still swallowing this thing and really coming after that lure. In one video I've done earlier in the year, I talk about how to know when your retrieve or color or presentation is, is right on the money. It's based on how well they are eating it. Well, today it was telling us they're eating it pretty good on just the sit and small twitches or on that straight pull. If we were given a more aggressive twitch, 
we were not getting the strikes and this the way they were eating the lure tells us that we are heading in the right direction with our presentation and hey if you would like to watch a video on a common jig fishing mistake go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure you go out and encourage someone today you just never know how you might change their life forever for the bass fishing life i'm your host steve rogers